Now tell me who is fooling who. You're not fooling me. You're fooling you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to this place. You know what? I've been gone for a little bit. Had a total technical breakdown, family. And um, I'm just so glad to be back up so I can talk to y'all. And I'm I'm, I'm happy to be back um, with some little better equipment. However, we still working. We still working. But I had to get into this right here because it is so important. You know, that's the beauty of getting older. Because, see, you can, you can debunk so many damn lies because you can remember them when they were new. Not 30 years later when it's old news. And it's just amazing to me that how many people think that their sins won't find them out. That's what they think. And this conversation is leading me to the man that the Lakers want to be hit their coach, uh, J.J. Reddick. You know, he's been accused of racism. Uh, he's been accused of sexism, uh, misogynist behavior, all types of crazy shit um, that nobody really wants to talk about because, of course, that will make the Lakers look like really pathetic and the pathetic people that they are to even let LeBron run their franchise, okay? So I don't know why they stuck on him. Oh, yes, I do. I know why he kissed the ring. Anyway, aside from that, I'm going to put up some flashback videos. And I think it's just befitting that y'all understand who J.J. Reddick is. He did call... um the Hispanic lady, sister, uh, Spick, uh, um, he has been not only accused of, but recorded as saying he didn't want no black baby and she better get an abortion. It was like nephew Tommy and that joke that he did when he called a white dude on the phone and said, we having a black baby. And the guy said, What? What? But J.J. J. Riddick took it a step further. He's going, I'm not having no baby by no n the N-word. See, and I don't think he ever thought this stuff was going to come back to hunt his ratchet low life behind. I personally am happy. Even though he played for the Bucks for a few minutes, a hot second, maybe it's uh, a season, I'm glad to see him go. He could have fit it right at home here, except it was a little bit too cold for him. But uh, he could have fit, fit it right along with um, some of these infidels here. However, I'm glad that J.J.'s pass is coming out. Uh, and I'm glad LeBron James is being exposed for the kind of person that he is. Um, and... I hope this charade is finally over. I hope that the public in Lakerland reject this madness. You can't go from letting Jerry West, one of the most greatest players that ever played the game, to be associated with another guard as a coach who is really trash. Let him go back and... And, and, and um, coach his son, Little League, because I didn't like him when he played. I didn't like the reputation that he had. I really can't stand people that like to lay down with you in the dark, a la Thomas Jefferson, and then expose and be cruel to you on another end. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Well, with that being said, let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what you think about J.J. Reddy. And I'm glad to be back, family. I'm glad to know that y'all still there. Let me know that you're there by making a comment. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.